Hi friends, I'm Kiki Tyrant. This is the Budget Stellar's uh, continuing domination of the music scene coming out of Chicago. And uh, since you were last here, we won another Battle of the Bands and I've reorganised my trophies now. Uh, this is the Chicago Wall, yeah? And, uh, and over here, this is now the Cedar Rapids Wall. We won another one in Cedar Rapids. I don't know, I don't know exactly why that's the case, but we did, so that's great. Anyway, we're heading to the studio because we've got more to, to record. Yes, we have. Uh, I haven't recorded anything new since you were last here, so uh, I'll record something new now you are here. All right, okay. Well, we're going for Gabriel's studio today because you never know, it might be, uh, might be a good one. Uh, Elvis is still going to be producing for us. I think that's important that we we stick with one kind of sound. Um, yeah, I think that's important. Uh, I've written a new tune. Uh, it's called Learn Yourself. And uh, I'll let Stella get in on the action. So it's got uh, two points worth of education-oriented lyrics. And it's also Christmas Day and we're recording. That is dedication right there. We're going to record Bomb the Past. Now, this is our absolute best tune. So uh, I'm prepared to over-index on the spend here. To, to get it up to something absolutely rambunctious. Uh, 23 hours gets us 88%. Okay, well, when do we make No, no you've, got to, you've got to spend all six grand to get that. Yep, no, that's going to be the single. Really, is it really representative of the kind of band we are? Hush your mouth, yes we are. Uh, it's the best thing we have, and therefore, we'll get that done. Now look at all of the XPs there. Uh, that's that's good. We now have three tracks recorded, friends. Three. This is all good. Uh, Thomas, uh, what do you have for us today? Uh, you've got 336 quid in Cedar Rapids. Well, you know what? I'm going to keep dominating Cedar Rapids, so yeah, I'll take it. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, you're all right. I ought to check how much merch I've got left. I've been shifting some of it. Uh, 241 shirts... All right, I'll buy some more before the next gig, uh, which is uh, this Saturday at the Ricky Gaza. That's fine. Uh, Stella's leveled up. That's good. Um, now, what am I? I'm going to put one point in business for you there, uh, Stella, Betsy, whatever you want to be known as today, uh, because uh, that's important. Uh, let's put you playing. It really only affects how quickly we learn how to play something. Um, I don't know. It would be good to be able to get her to bring something to the party vis-a-vis -vis, uh, differential uh, tastes and tunes and whatnot. Um, but when it comes down to it, do we care? No. Get your playing skills up. We've got to learn how to play this stuff. It's important. Uh, and therefore, everybody that can contribute should. Right. I'm going to put another, I'm going to put another one in the, uh, in the bank now. We've got, uh, we've got two done. Uh, no, we've got three done. We have three ready for the album. We need seven more, and it's not yet the end of December. This is good. Uh, what about crayons? Well, that's got to go on there, hasn't it? What about Pope? Can we get Pope up to 40? Yeah. Yeah, I think we should. I think we get it up to 90. Steady on. Why are you Why are you giving me reds here? What's, uh, what's the problem on that? Well... I think you should probably... Yeah, let's do that. Really? Is it worth the money? Yeah, I think it should be. I think this... <laughs> yeah, I think it's a terrible idea. I, I think it's an absolutely terrible idea. I think it, as ideas go, it's terrible. Uh, I think we maintain it at 40, and uh, and that way we get some, some cult classic kind of an idea going on there. All right, okay, yeah, fine. Yeah, it's a it's a cult classic number, and uh, and therefore we should keep it in our catalogue. Uh, but uh, you know, there we are. That's that. That's that one done. That's another one done. That's done. It's done. That one. Um, right. Okay. So uh, so here's our here's our selection. We've got. I thought we had. I thought we had four done already. We haven't. We've only got. We we only had three. We've now got four. All right. Well, one more gets us halfway through the album. Well done. You can count. So I think it's got to be Furious or I Hated My Town. I Hated My Town. Uh, let's, let's, let's get that in there. Let's do, why, are we, why are we ramping the tempo on these? They only need to be 40. Let's not go above that. 
uh, but we'll have three that are outstanding that we push beyond that level in order to uh, uh, to get us a, uh, a, a, a an EP or a single that uh, that comes up trumps. Okay, all right, okay. I kind of like your thinking there. Uh, right, we should see a show this weekend. We're going to be in a show this weekend. How does that sound? Yeah, does that sound agreeable? Have we got anything needs repairing? Yeah, but it's fine. Okay, all right. Let's uh, let's practice up some tunes that need tune practice here. Uh, in fact, we've got quite a few that need some practice. Oh, crumbs. Yeah, we're never going to get all of these done. No, we're not. Well, we could practice them while we're on stage. It's not quite the same thing, though, is it? Is it? No. Uh, we ought to sort by, by play skill, and that way we can we can see exactly what's going on here. Uh, we're still learning. Uh, learn yourself. Yeah, that's fine. Just uh, just knock it out. That's it. We'll take we'll take gradual improvement. We don't need to go any further than that. Right off to Ricky Gaza, and uh, let's uh, let's put in a tune. Now I need to keep my eye on consumables. We're probably going to need some more. Oh, I did say we're going to buy some more t-shirts. All right, we'll pick some up on the way. Yeah, they they turn t-shirts out in no time at all. Uh, Troy, what up, Troy? I want some t-shirts, mate. Uh, how much you want? Oh, keep it coming. Yeah, two eighty. That'll do. Just, just keep the stocks uh, up. What does that give us? 520 odd. Yeah, that's all good. Yeah, pretty soon the entire population of Chicago is going to be rocking around in our shirts, you know. And I'm uh, I'm good with that. Because uh, the, uh, the more people wear them, the better. Incidentally, that battle of the bands that I won while you weren't here. Uh, yeah, there were 56 people in the audience. 33 of whom uh, were budget fans. So uh, I did rather win... The, uh, the popular vote there at the end. Uh, right, who are we on with here? We're on with Embarrassed Shivering Fishes. Whatever, I don't really care as long as it pays. Right then, what do you have for me? Um, uh, well, we're getting paid 1,700 quid regardless. Yeah, we haven't got any clunkers in there. This set list has largely been doing the job. Let's, uh, let's make it happen. Yep. Do you think people are going to get bored of hearing the same tunes all the time? Nope. I don't think so. Not in the slightest. I think they turn up knowing what they're going to get and then are delighted when they get it. You sure? We're three songs in and we're only up to 10%. Yeah, okay. All right. Well, you know, maybe they're just not in the mood. Maybe they've got a little bit of festive season malaise going on. Yeah, that's certainly possible. Yeah, we're going to be lucky to scrape 30 out of this gig, you know. We're, we are going to be lucky to scrape 30 out of this gig. Yeah, you're not wrong. Yeah, I think we might come in at 29. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Well, that's that's not very good, is it? <laughs> no, but whatever. It's all it's all fine. We made 11, 1,100 quid, so uh, that's all solid. 60 fans in. Sold, sold an EP. Sold 12 shirts. Sweet. What's the problem? Just not zinging. Just not zinging. You wait, you wait. There will come a point at which we are zinging. And then you'll go, oh yeah, they were clearly zinging. Uh, right, we're off to Wisconsin again tomorrow. I say tomorrow. We're, we're probably off there now, if I'm honest. Uh, yeah, let's let's go straight there. Let's not hang around. I mean, what would we be doing? Go home and, uh, and get a bit more practice in. Well, yeah, we've got plenty of time for that. I've got a bunch of tunes already recorded. Uh, Mad Dear Son. It's got almost nobody lives there, and we're we're bound to not get paid very much for this gig. But you know what? It's all good. Thomas, what do you got? Uh, Chicago Theatre. Yes, I'll take it. Thank you. I'm all about playing in Chicago because it's uh, it's it's convenient. I mean, if he can keep rattling them up in Chicago, then that's all good. I ought to have a look at my calendar for next month because we are going to need some recording time. I mean, we've got until March to deliver. But even so, you know, you know, even so. Right, I think we take something out of the list and put something else in its place. All right, okay, what are you thinking? Uh, let's go for play skill as the ordering factor here because we want to keep the play skills up. I like it. I, I admire the spirit with which you are working here. Um, all right, well, we've got your town sucks because it's not Chicago. Chicago is the only town that doesn't suck. All other towns suck. Uh, let's take crayons out. I know we love it. You love it. Everyone loves it. Uh, but we should put in uh, nice hair in its place and uh, and see how we get on with that. Maybe 
we should take out your town sucks because it's not quite over the line and instead we'll uh, we'll just keep up with the with the high impact put crayons back in well it'll either work or it won't let's go Hello Wembley, we are Stella, 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 Kiki, and we're known as Budget, because we are, we are definitely Budget, and uh, our songs may not resonate with you now, but there will come a time in the future where you will listen to them and go, you know what, those songs are resonating with me, and I'll go, yes, I rather imagine they are, look at how much they're getting into nice hair. I, I don't understand. Why why is nice hair really getting them over the line, whereas nothing else is? While we're unpopular, we should just be rocking high high energy all the time. I think that's important. They were moderately entertained, look. Yeah, interesting. 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 That's interesting. Took 54 shirts. Come on! That's the stuff. Uh, right. No, oh, actually, Bob the Past was the only one they did like. Ah, what? Ah, what do they know? Uh, Stella, good times for you. Uh, let's uh, let's keep your uh, your production skills increasing. You're not going to be there for a little while yet, but in the meantime, let's let's keep you uh, let's keep you romping forwards, shall we? Because uh, at some point, you're going to be our producer for everything. Now, it's not because we're trying to cheap out and save some money. No, rather because I would rather we had everything uh, in house. Uh, next gig is in Indianapolis. That's fine, but it's not till next week by the looks of it. So, uh, so that's that's all good. I say next week, next month. Right. So, climate change, happiness, and education. It's about to get a bit of a mix-up. Uh, right. What have we got in January? Monday. You mean tomorrow? Yeah, we're we're back at the Elliot Hahn. All right. We'll we'll try and get a recording session in on on Wednesday or Thursday then. All right. Okay. As long as you know what's what, I I do know what's what. Yeah. Okay, let's go and make sure all the kit's fixed up. Let's do a bit of practice. And uh, actually, let's uh, let's just check the, the old song bank here to make sure that we're ready for the next time I decide to bang out a new tune. That's a 30-point rhythm. Yeah, it is. All right, let's stick that in. Uh, let's get rid of this 19. Let's put this 20 in there. Jolly good. What about lyrics? Let's see, I mean, we've got more terrible lyrics about education. Yeah. We want to do something about... You know, depression. We want a depressive song. I want next month. I want January to be a depressive month, and then we can really, we can really rake it in. Uh, we got a nineteen on wealth. Nah, keep it. Leave it. Leave it. No, ship it. No, leave it alone. It's all fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. Okay. All right. Good. Uh, repair up the stuff. Hold on. Stella's out. Stella's broken her symbols. Right. Let's go to the shop and buy symbols. Yeah, that's fine. Now, in between uh, the old uh, the old gigging and uh, and the sale of, of t-shirts and whatnot, uh, we should make enough. I'm not going to Tyler's. Not today. We'll go to Grant's. Um, no, actually, no. That's discount. Let's go to Daryl's. Yes, I like thinking. Right. Okay. Here we go. Now then, what we want to look for here is stuff we're not using. We're not using this base anymore. All right, should we flog it? Uh, yeah. Okay. What about the uh, Fender Jazz Chrome Red? Yeah, flog it. Okay, what about the uh, Ibanez Lava Orange Flat? Oh, I remember when I used to play that. That was a good guitar. Flog it. Okay, what else? Uh, the Fender Rumble 25? Yeah, flog it. Did see these these little iconographic bits. Tell I mean, you know this already, but I'm just telling you uh, that they tell me where and when I'm using it. So, uh, you know, there's that. Good. Yeah, they're done. What about you, Stells? Uh, you packing anything? Yeah, you've got this this rubbish blue kit. Flog it. Anything else? Not at the moment. You need some symbols. What does really big symbols get us? Uh, five playing. Useful. Uh, two playing and three writing music. Yes. Nothing. Yes. One playing and two stage presence. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now let's get you five playing. I'm, I'm prepared to spend 1,200 quid on some cymbals. Try and make them last, would you? If you wouldn't mind, would, would that be okay? There you go. Have some of those. I'm not buying you any more. 
No, you can just uh, you you can just suck them in for a while. Uh, Stella, how about you? What do you, you've got this audio technica business? Nice no, flog that. Uh, we've got another audio. It's a flog that as well. Uh, you've got the uh, the Beringer uh, DSP two hundred two four P. Yeah, it's rubbish. All right. Okay, solid. Yep. Oh, when she gets the, they get them, they get the money out of selling the stuff. No, Stella is holding on to two hundred and seventy one quid for reasons I don't fully grasp, but uh, but there it is. Right, you've got bass strings. You're going to need those. Uh, you've got an old bass guitar, which is rubbish. It's worth four quid in endorsements. Yeah, I don't give a monkeys. Uh, right, you've got an old bass amp. You've flogged that as well. Okay, you probably want some new strings in the future. All right, what have we got? What about the Roto sound? Stage presence. Yeah. 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 All right, you can have you can have some of those. Yes. And uh, anything else? Nah. Nah, you're good. Uh, right, okay. I think that's everybody sorted there. Uh, how am I doing for strings? Plenty. Okay. Stella, how are you doing for sticks and whatnot? You've got a fair few. Uh, it will do you for now. We'll, we'll, we'll top you up at some point. All right, we're in business. Um, good. Where was I going next? Are we playing a gig? Am I going home? You're going home. We're going to do a day's worth of practice. Gigs tomorrow. Oh, where people's sensibilities have all changed up. That will be exciting. I'm excited to find out how exciting it's going to be. You should be. All right. What do we need to work on here? Well, there's the there's all the tunage. Yeah, Just give me the play skill sort. Thank you. Right, uh, cork in it. Yeah, big time tune. That's already yeah, that's already at green. Uh, okay, all right. No, this is good. The fewer tunes you practice, the more impactful it becomes. I believe. Uh, I've got to go to Indianapolis. That's fine. We'll we'll do that. Sanity's dropped off by a point, but that's okay. Yeah, yeah. Do we put anything over the edge? Yeah, we did. We we got a couple more done. That's fine. Um, right. Let's uh, let's stroll on there, team. Let's go play this gig and dominate. Now, ah, oh, it's January, right? We should uh, we should have a quick look at what the sensibility changes because it might affect our uh, our set list. Hopefully, not badly. Uh, let's have a quick look. Sensibilities, climate change, education, straight edge. No sports cars, partying, or drug addiction. All right. Have we got anything at all? Learn yourself is uh, is a green. Yeah, it is. But we suck at it. Yeah, we do. Yeah. I don't really want to be singing about education, but uh, but I do think that it still embraces the overall ethos uh, that we, the band, possess. Yeah. Anything else you want to do with this? What about if we opened with Bomb the Past? Well, we could try that, I suppose. Um, I don't think it's going to make us any worse. Let's put it that way. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Anything else you can tell me here? Straight edge, nurse. I've just got. I've got nothing. I've got nothing. Nothing really to speak of here. We're just going to. Uh, we're just going to rock in the way that we rock. Hello, Wembley. We are budget, and you love us. You may not realise it yet, but you really, really do. I heartily recommend a t-shirt and or copy of the EP and then buy another t-shirt because that will sort you out. Yeah. Incidentally, we play rocking tunes. That's all we play. We just rock all the time, all the rock. Nothing more than that. And, uh, and you should really, you know, embrace it. Yeah, I realise that expending energy goes against climate change, but, you know, have a good time. Enjoy yourselves. Uh, that's 1,400 quid in the bank. Lovely. Bit of endorsement pay. You know what? I might uh, I might set Tomo on a bit of endorsement hunting for a little while. Uh, yeah, nothing. What a shambles. Right, where are we going next? Uh, back to Chicago. Good stuff. All right, okay, fine. In fact, I'm going to phone him up now. Thomas, yeah endorsements make it happen there we go i ought to have a quick look at the uh, the old contract status as well before we uh, before we plow on too much further to ensure that we're not leaving um uh anything unchecked right straight to the gig team okay all right you good yeah good straight to the gig gig time 
let's do the gig and then uh, and then you've got a day off where we'll we'll bang in another recording or two uh because uh if I can get all of this done by the end of March, I might, by the end of January even, I might even go for some re-recordings to, uh, to up the quality a little bit. Right then, what you got for us? 788 quid. Yep, it's a six tune set. Okay, any reason to change it up? Yeah, we could put Rad Pope in just for laughs. But you know what? Given that we are sucking it up at the moment anyway, we might as well do. Let's... Uh, uh, let's take, uh, I don't know, what should we take out? Let's take crayons out. I know, they go bananas for it, but let's do it anyway. We'll put Rad Pope up front, because we really do play the heck out of that tune. Uh, let's go. Hello again, Wembley. It's us. Yeah, you've seen us before. You've seen us again. We're playing largely the same tunes in largely the same order. Uh, but you're into it. We certainly put on a show. We're a delight for all involved. And uh, we haven't changed our look in a long time. This is our look. This is our sound. This is the budget attitude. Do you have a budget attitude? No? I think you probably should get one then. Because budget is more than a way of life. It is living. Or something. All right, well, look, there's all the business we got there. We sold another one of the Sanity EP, despite the fact that she sells Sanity is desperately unpopular at the moment. Uh, anything? They like Bond the Past. But I think they liked it more because we, we bigged them up a little bit beforehand with the Rad Pope. But you can't say that with any certainty. No, but we are fully flipping inspired. Uh, let's, uh, let's go on. All right, yeah. Let's go see what we've got in the uh, in the bank box of tunery. Okay. Talk to me about the bank box of tunery. 40 new ideas added to the pool. Yeah, but are any of them ideas? With a capital I. And then a bunch of other capital letters afterwards. I've got a 21-point rhythm going on. I'm sure you do. All right, Stella, get your tune out there. Put this in. Yeah. No. We ought to do another writing session at some point, I reckon. Uh, as, uh, as, uh, what's her name? Cthulhu. Has she, she written anything about education that stands up? No, not even remotely. But you know what? We should get the practice of the education tune over the line so that, uh, so that we can reap the benefits this month. Oh, she's hacked off at the moment as well. All right. Well, you know, that's just a thing that she's just going to have to soak up. Uh, yeah, we've got a long way to go before that's any good. True. But we might as well get just get rolling on it, and then you know we'll we'll get there when we get there. We go. I added twenty points to it. Stella, why are you cheesed? She's cheesed off. Yeah, it's because she's got an ego. You see, she's she's a full of full egomaniac, and the fact that we've actually allowed her to have a song in the set is uh, is clearly not helped. Uh, she's still got you know quite a significant cob on most of the time. Uh, right, let's go find ourselves a studio I don't despise. And uh, and we'll go get this uh, recorded. Timmy, let's try your studio. No, I don't care if it sounds different. It's not like we're, we're passing up on recording at Sound City. Uh, right. Is Elvis. The full cost is 3.67 an hour. Yeah. Okay, we've got... Oh, best recording. Can I not sort that the other way? No, guess not. All right, we have five... We need 10. Okay, good. All right, what's something we're moderately competent at? Ooh, ah, well, ah, now, what have we, what have we got that's, uh, that's close to the quality bar? Big time tune, let's do the big time tune. Uh, then we'll have three with the right level of, well, we'll, we'll, be, we'll be at two of the right level of quality. So I think we put the big town tune, we spend heavy on this one. Yeah, 89 for eight and a bit grand. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah? Yeah, let's do it. You sure? Is this the right tune? Back her up. Uh, just make sure this isn't one you've already recorded. There you go. I had, a, I had a moment of paranoia where I thought, hang on, I might have already done this one, but I haven't, so that's good. All right, do it. Good, 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 good. 
There you go. Lots of lovely experience uh, jumping into the uh, into the packet there. Uh, right. Let's have a look and see what we've got now. One, two, three, four, five, six. We've got two good tunes on there. Yeah. We need one more, and then we, we fulfill our criteria. All right. Okay. We should probably go and do some practice. If we want to benefit from having an educational tune in our educational set list, we should probably go and practice it sufficient that we can play it in front of people and not be ashamed for doing so. Right. Anybody else? Yeah, that one needs doing. Oh, for crying out loud. And that one. Oh, and this one. But they hate that one. Yeah, all right. We'll bring it, We'll bring that one back should the, uh, the need arise later on. Right then, we're off to Toledo, home of the Toledo people, and uh, and when we get there, we will we'll we'll Toledo like there's no tomorrow. Uh, yeah, we're back to the automatic shirt again. Is this Toledo's only music venue? It feels rather like uh, it might well be. Do you know what else I should do? What's that? I should record one in Cedar Rapids. For any particular reason? Yeah, they like us. They like us in Cedar Rapids, and, uh, and therefore having one recorded in their town might be an idea. Yeah, try not to stack the van any more than is absolutely necessary. Thanks, Automatic. Nice to see you. If you wanted to change your name to Stella, incidentally, you could play keyboard or something, or maybe just supply us with drinks. Uh, right, okay, well, here we are again. Happy as can be. You know what I might do? What are we getting paid? 150 quid? Good. Right. Yeah, this is the perfect time to drop Rab Pope out of the mix and put in Learn Yourself instead. Now, they're not going to be utterly thrilled with that, although they might be because it really appeals to their current sensibility. Uh, but we will gain a little bit more familiarity with it. Well, look, it's not going to be any worse than it is now, is it? Is it? No, it's not. Uh, what about the blatant cash in? No, nope, can't play that at the moment. All right. Okay. What about uh, drop bomb the past? No, we need it. It's the best tune we have. Valid. Good point. Okay. Start the gig. Hello, Wembley. We're Budget and Stellas and uh, Kiki Tyrant. And here's a new tune that no one's heard before. It's not ready yet. That's probably why no one's heard it before because it stinks at the moment. Uh, but you got to hear it first, Toledo. You lucky people. Um, yeah. You can you can start getting into our set anytime you please. You, you may or may look at that Stella's just she jumps in the air doesn't get a response just kind of goes why am I why am I even here why why even bother with any of this oh god I'm depressed oh depression's not fashionable you're not allowed to be depressed at the moment alright what you got for me yeah okay sold nine shirts it was not worth us coming at all but we might have improved the oh, see look the audience wasn't impressed with your low playing skill Good stage presence and high song quality helped it get some applause. Okay, all right. Well, you know, if that's what it takes, then uh, that's what it takes. I've leveled up. Hooray for me. Um, now then, what shall I spend my pointage on? I think we could possibly benefit from... Ooh, let's go four, one, in, one in that and then four in this. Yeah, might as well. Uh, anything that can cut down on the amount of infernal time that we have to spend practicing is a good thing. Frankly, yeah, yeah, that's a good thing. All right, where where am I? Where am I even going? I'm going home. Ah, okay. Yes, yes. All right, fine. That's uh, that's all good. Right. Well, we're going back into the practice loop once more. We'll do one more bout of practice, and then we'll get ourselves back in the studio and get another one recorded, because uh, uh, that's important too. Yeah. Just just do this one. Yeah. Yeah. We could do. We we could get away with just doing this one. All right. Well, get away with it then. And come on, show me the points. Stella's leveled up. Good for you, Stella. Well done. Uh, right. What are, what are, what are, what are we should what should we do with you? I'm going to give you one point of writing music. No, I'm not. Are you not? Well, it might it, it might help. Yeah, it might help. Uh, I'm ah oh, I'm an, I'm in a quandary. Uh, I'm on the horn. I'm on the thorn of a dilemma, and the horn of a dilemma. The dilemma has everything, and I'm on it. 
Uh, right, we'll put three points in there. You can have one point in writing music and we'll have one point in writing lyrics. All right, you're going to be a little bit of a catch-all, I'm afraid there, uh, Betsy, but uh, we need you to, uh, to do these things. Uh, and we need you to not have quite such an amount of, uh, uh, of, of whining about the current setup that we have going on. 24 new song ideas. Yeah, but are any of them any good? Um, no. Well, then, we won't bother with that, then, will we? I guess not. Where are we going? We're going down a studio. We're going to get one more recorded, uh, and then uh, practice, 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 and hopefully we can debut uh, the, uh, the new song at the end of the week. Oh, that's bold. Well, I think it's I think it's going to be worth I think it's going to be worth the effort. Which studio are we going to today? Uh, I want to find Casper's again, but I can't remember where it is. Okay, is it next door to Pete? No, it's Troy. Troy will do. We've recorded at Troy before, I'm sure of it. Uh, but we're recording at Troy now. Okie dokie. Right, let's. Uh, there's the recordings that we've got. Yeah. What are we sticking in there next? Your town sucks. Could do. That could be the other hitter. Uh, no, I'm not ready. For that. No, I want Furious as the other hitter. We're gonna, we're gonna rock it. It's only a sixty-six percent when it comes good. All right. Well, it might as well. Let's. Uh, I'll, I'll spend three grand on it, and we'll have what we get. There you go. Fifty-five. That'll do. Yep. Good. Keeping it coming, making it work. That's all solidly good. Uh, product endorsements have been updated. Let's have a look and see what we've got. Well, Betsy is getting eight quid, per, eight, eight quid per performance, and that's it. Yeah, and that's per thousand people in the audience. Brilliant. Yeah, I know, but uh, I'm. It is what it is. Actually, we should have a look at the calendar. We've got uh, one to three gigs coming up. What have we got in February? Now, Tomo, I'm about to retask you, son. Uh, let's go. Yeah. Also, where can I read my contract? Uh, I want to make sure I've done enough gigs. If I've got any word on contracts in... Oh, here we go. Uh, yeah, gigs, zero of 20. What? After the CD is released. Oh, fine. Oh, that's okay then. Oh, no, no, oh, no. With the, in which case, everything is... The, the CD release is only due in, in March. So we have to play 20 gigs after March. Right... Okay, that's that's all fine then. Right, let's go home. Uh, right, I'm going to practice uh, and uh, I'll get a tune into shape, and then we'll finish out the uh, uh, today's adventure by uh, by seeing it in action. The unstable button. This does not look like the biggest gig we're ever going to play, but uh, that's all right. I up unstable. Yep. How's it going? We all we all good? Ain't you tired of looking at the same old van? Why don't you get it painted? Because that's not going to make it any more reliable, is it? No, it's not. Anyway, I hope you're paying well tonight. 92 quid. Why are we here again? Anyway, Learn Yourself is ready to rock. And it's in the green. Woohoo! This, uh, this could be a fearsome way to start us out. Uh, bomb the past will ease them back down again. And then we can go into this lot, uh, which will sort them out. I'm going to swap the order there. We're going to do Nice Hair, then Furious. Uh, and that's, that's sure to come off like a champ uh, or not as the case may be either way let's roll learn yourself some things about budget and stellars and uh, the tyrant that is kiki we are budget and uh, we're delighted to be here in insert town name uh, we hope you enjoy the tunes that we are delivering unto you via the medium of rock uh, we bounce we come on Betsy pull it together come on look actually deliver a show we're here because we're consummate professionals and uh, I mean any level of it making it look like we we know what we're doing would be pretty pretty decent 37% interest that's the, that's the benefit of putting in a, a tune that they've actually you know associating with themselves how do we do on shirts 10 yeah, 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 yeah. These days, that's all I care about. 
14 fans in attendance. Well, hopefully we'll get some more out of that. Uh, they loved it. Absolutely loved it. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, you know, it was worth it for that. And, uh, and therefore, that's why we did it. Where are we off to next? Let's go see if it plays as well in Milwaukee, shall we? Because, uh, you know, that, that feels like an experiment that is likely to result in very little difference. Uh, but we'll we'll go figure it out. This is Milwaukee. Let's go there. Yeah. Okay. All right. We've got a gig in Milwaukee tonight. I'm ready for it. I'm, I'm good to go. Oscars Deluxe Music. Nope. We're not spending money till we've finished the album. Okay. All right. That's fine. Unless it's consumables, in which case we will obviously spend the money. Uh, right. Who are we on with? Uh, we're on with the trustworthy walks and the dumb liquids. Because of course we are. Okay. Well, I think we uh, I think we largely stick with what we've just been playing. Uh, it, it all seems to be coming off relatively well. I think we can move bomb the past a bit down the uh, down the order. Maybe do that as the as the penultimate. Uh, baby's got bank. Let's go for play skills. What's missing from the equation? Mm, yeah, several. Okay. What about crowns? We could bring crowns back in. Uh, oh, I like it. Yeah. Drop nice hair. Bring in crowns. Yes. Finish with Furious. Yep, I've got high confidence about that one. Uh, talk to me about quality. What are we missing from here? Only Rad a Pope, but they still hate it because it's about sports cars. Well, the, the Pope does like a sports car. Yeah, I heard that about him. Oh, 1,700 quid for this one. All right, okay. We'll we'll turn the dial up a little and uh, let's see if we can't deliver on some more high-octane rock antics. Hello, we are Budgets and you are Wembley. And these are high octane rock antics. Uh, antics. I, I've added an extra T there for some reason. But you don't care. You are just here to embrace the rockage. I am. Oh, flipping it. Betsy had a conniption. Um, it's all good though. Nice. Uh, it's, it, it's solid. Two and a half thousand fans in the crowds. They've come to see the rock. And we have delivered some of the rock to them. We offered them more rock, but they were not interested. But hey, that's all right. They were moderately entertained. I'll take moderately entertained, so that's fine. Uh, yeah, we made another grand. That's good. Sold 56 shirts. That's good, too. Yeah. And they only slightly liked the one that they're supposed to like a lot. Uh, but part of that enjoyment comes down to the, uh, the percentage of fans that we have in the audience. So we, we go down a little better in uh, in Chicago than anywhere else. Anyway, I've been uh, I've been Colonel Failure. This is uh, the Rising Star Two, uh, and the continuing adventures of Kiki Budget and the Tyrant Sisters. Um, and uh, and I'll be back next time with more, where we will complete our album, and we'll go and shoot the album art. Oh yeah, yeah, it's gonna be. It's going to be a good one. You're going to want to tune in for that, so be sure to subscribe to make sure that you tune in for that. Thanks very much for watching. Cheerio. All right, well, look, well, mm, yeah, and, ee, ooh, ah, mm, nah. <laughs> I've got a whole range of those noises that I use while I'm trying to think of what I'm going to say next, and, and nothing was actually emerging there, so I decided to break the fourth wall and go, this is what I go into. Huh? 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 Mm? Ah, ha, ha, ha. Mm. I could probably fill the whole outro this way. Hey, Saves coming up with something to say. Hey, oh, hey, and oh, and ah, mm. um, e ah, all of that kind of bit. It's like a master cut of all of the all of the flim flam that I have going on uh, when uh, when doing anything really. Is oh hell! I've done. I've given away basically my my secret weapon, which is you just kind of go ooh, and and that means something to someone somewhere, and and that's you know it's all just, isn't it? Yeah, oh, oh, it certainly is, and I like to feel sometimes that. Uh, but do we though? Ah, huh? hmm. Uh, probably not. Uh, but we'll investigate that in the fullness of time. Anyway. Uh, there is a hmm, hmm. Uh, yeah, and there you go. I hope you found that uplifting. <laughs> uh, uh, 
I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe you found that entertaining. Maybe you didn't. But uh, but as, as I started doing it, I kind of went, hold on. How many of these have I got up my sleeve? That uh, and it's not deliberate. Uh, but I but I do have a a range of just total. Um, sounds like rollocks uh that that i do when uh, when i'm trying to formulate what to say next because there's nothing worse than dead air unless you're doing it for uh for for dramatic effect in which case it can be very effective particularly when you're as chatty as i tend to be or when you when you fill dead air as much as i have a tendency to do anyway i, I thought i asked well, it made me chuckle you saw it so uh, so there you go hopefully hopefully you've got a you know Something like that. Uh, that. That was another one. Uh, <laughs> hopefully, you got something out of that as well. Brilliant. Great. Yeah. It's like a. It's like I'd edited together a supercut of of nonsense that I get up to, um, but no, I, I just did it all without without bothering to fill in the interim period. Oh, I could probably do an entire video uh, of nothing but that. That that would be a challenge. Oh, it's tempting though. Yeah, oh, it is temp. It is temp. I don't know what game would I do that for? I, I don't know. Well, I'd need to be on camera. I don't. Yeah, you'd need a camera on for that to work. All right, leave that one with me. I'm gonna. Have to, I'll, I'll have to have a think about that. No, honestly, I think I might have just done the gag. Um, but could I do the gag better? We'll see. Anyway, there you are. Yeah. Now you see this. This is the perfect series to do this kind of rubbish on because uh, it's, it's rising star, right? And therefore, uh, this is only really being watched by those who are, you know, the, the proper. I'll watch you play any old nonsense. Um, uh, and and therefore, I feel that you are a receptive audience to this kind of nonsense because you like the characters and the story and. Uh, and you don't show up in droves. In fact, interestingly enough, Rising Star is getting pretty much exactly the same audience size that baseball used to get. Is it the same people? Oh, I would say that in, the, in a Venn diagram there, you're probably looking at a 90% crossover. Um, maybe 10% more people. Sorry, that's, that's me. I made myself, made myself eye water from the laughing. Um, yeah, probably 90% probably crossover. 10% of people kind of go, sports? Yeah, all right. And they kind of go, fake rock stars with janky graphics? No, I'll pass. Um, whereas you've got 10% of people going, go, sports, no, thanks. And then uh, janky graphics don't bother me, but you've got a story to tell, and I'm into that. Oh, it'd be interesting. Uh, don't, let me know. Are you a, are you a baseball plus? Uh, rising star? Are you a rising star only? Uh, are you a baseball only and you're here just uh, lost and, and, and have somehow found your way to the end of the episode and are just kind of going, I don't know what I just watched. Um, let me know. I, I, I'm purely curious. I'm not going to do anything with the information. I rarely, rarely do. But, uh, but, you know, right now I'm interested. Later, probably won't be. But, uh, but there you go. Anyway, a nice, nice beefy outro for you there. Have a lovely day, and I'll uh, I'll catch you next time, will I? Yeah, oh, I probably will. Yeah. <laughs>